So hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So this time we're gonna find out correlation coefficient using Excel. So look at this problem. So display scrap plot for the data and find its correlation coefficient. Okay, so this time we will using two different features. So using insert um, graph here and then also we are using uh, data analysis feature the find is correlation coefficient okay so now so step one is highlight this data set and then go to insert now recommended chart here then you will choose the scrapler here okay now click ok then you see a uh, scalar, scalar for this data set okay so i'm going to just rename this one as a scalar plot wait and work okay now so as you see um all the dots are maybe between about 100 to 250 there's no data between 0 to 100 here so now I'm gonna adjust uh, this uh, horizontal axis so that we can see uh, this a little better okay so now you click the horizontal axis and double click here then you see um, this uh, this this open like that So now you click this uh, this feature here, axis option. You must click this one, not anything else. Now, uh, axis option, and then we are gonna make um, this bounce minimum as well, about ninety. And now you see uh, the scale block has spread. Uh, and then using the wide space here, right? Okay, so it looks a little better. And now. Next one is we're gonna find that the line. So in this case, you are choosing quick layout here. Okay, quick layout and click that. And now based on the feature, it will show um how it how uh, it display here. So this time I'm gonna using this one. So even though it looks kind of similar this to this, but this option shows that. Uh, equation as well, so I'm going to choose this one. And now we are moving this equation part to outside of here. Okay, and now we can see uh, this line equation as well. Good. Now I'm going to explain R square a little bit later. Okay, so, so this is the way we can find out correlation coefficient here. Okay. And now, so I'm going to choose data and click data analysis and click correlation here correlation and okay and it will ask you input range you are just to uh, uh, highlight both column here and then of course we click the label and the output so this time i may display around here and okay and now you see this is our Correlation coefficient basically. Okay, so weight and weight definitely one, and the water to water definitely one. So you only focus on looking at this number. So now correlation coefficient notation is R, small r here. So R equal to 0 0.07725. Okay, it is very far from the one or negative one, right? Therefore, our conclusion is the weight in the water uh, has a weak correlation with okay. so I told you you know this value we can also finding out correlation coefficient so it shows the r squared so uh, you can using square root of r squared so to SQ to RT, the square root feature here. Click that. 
and then put point zero zero six and enter then you got very similar value here so this value most likely rounding value that's why it's a little bit different here but as you see until a uh, thousand digit the same value so now we can say uh, either we can make a square root of this r square or using the um, data analysis and the correlation feature then you can find the correlation coefficients okay so i hope this video helps you to understand to find out correlation coefficient also displaying square plot between two numerical domains all right then thank you very much and then i will see you again with a different video bye